If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, summer's well and truly behind us, and winter's on its way. There's not a lot of sun to be had, and so many people who are thinking about getting solar for their home are holding off until the start of the new year before ordering. But here's the thing. I think right now is the smartest time to buy, and in this video I'll explain why. Hi there, I'm Gary, and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. If you live below the equator, for example in Australia or the South America, right now it's summertime and you're enjoying a lot of solar generation, and long may that continue. But if you're above the equator like I am in the UK, at this time of year, heading towards winter, the sun's path across the sky is getting lower and lower every day, meaning less and less generation for those with solar panels and no real urgency for those without panels to get them installed. Of course, by the time January comes round, the sun will start to track higher and higher in the sky, meaning more and more generation across the next six months. This is why solar generation charts look like this in the UK, a bell curve of generation throughout the year starting in January. January seems then a good time of year for those looking to get solar panels fitted to their property to contract with an installer to get the work done. After all, it's a brand new year and a good time to start exciting new projects. But you know, trying to get solar in January is just like joining a gym then. Everybody wants to join the gym in January. It means the gym's crowded and you can't get on the machines that you want because other people are already using them. Actually, it's worse. You might not be able to get the exact solar and battery equipment that you would like because of supply shortages around then. And your installer might not be able to install everything till say February or March now because everyone wants their solar installed at the same time. So if it's not January, when is the best time to get solar then to capitalise on the start of next year? Well to get ahead of everything I'd suggest two months before that. Hang on, that, that's now. Well you know what they say, the best time to start anything is now. Actually they say the best time to start anything was yesterday. The next best time is now. But you know there are so many good reasons to start now in November. Solar installers are slightly less busy at the moment as we're after the summer peak. And that means they're likely to have more availability so you can choose an installation date that suits you better rather than them. And you might be able to negotiate a better price now than you would do in say January or at any other time in the year. For larger solar and battery installations you'll need to apply for permission to connect to the grid. But you should find that your local distribution network or system operator will respond to your application quicker given the lower demand for new connections just now. And by getting your solar install completed before the end of the year, it means that you'll be ready for the sun from the very start of next year. I mean, there's nothing like a clean sheet of data, but hey, maybe that's just my OCD. And of course, you'll have a good few weeks to get used to how your system works before the new year starts. These are some fairly compelling reasons if you ask me. So if you wanted to get started on your solar journey now, how would you go about it? Well, it's always a good idea to roughly know what you would like in terms of equipment and capability before you start contacting installers. And hopefully my videos are arming you with the basics so that you can ask the right questions. And as part of that, it's well worth you working out the total solar generation potential of your property beforehand. You may have several roof sections that are viable for solar panels, and it would be an opportunity lost if the installer quoted for just one of those. You may not have seen my last video yet, but I've created a new free utility that will do just that for you. It's really easy to use, just type solarasma.com into your browser, and you'll quickly get an idea of just how much solar your property can generate over the year. Finally, how do you choose which installer to go with? In the UK, for example, there are over 4,000 solar installers, and many hundreds of those only started up in business in the last year. How can you make sure that you end up contracting with one of the good ones? This video I made here lists several criteria that you can use to measure installers against, and I strongly recommend that you spend a reasonable amount of time doing that before you commit to a large spend, especially on a technology that you're still learning about. Of course, not everyone has the time, or let's face it, the inclination to look in detail at things like Companies House or Google Reviews. So I've already spent a great deal of time vetting who I think are the best solar installers in the UK. Installers that I would be more than happy to contract with myself if I was starting today. Just type getreadyfor.solar into your browser, or scan the QR code here to see the list. I built this service to stop people from getting ripped off, so I hope it's helpful to you in your search for a great installer. 
If you're thinking about getting solar for your home, I hope this video has got you thinking about pushing the button now rather than waiting a couple of months when the installers will be busy again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support my work so I can keep on making videos like this and also more software utilities, I'd love it if you would sign up to my Patreon here. Your support means a lot to me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.